this video I'm going to go over the basics of order of operations which is also known as bid mass, bod mass, ped mass, pen das, all those different things. Okay, before I go into that, I just got a little problem. 5 plus 4 times 9. I can't figure it out. I get two different answers. I get 81 one way and I get 41 the other way. Can you see how I've done that? I'll give you a few seconds and still work it out. You with me? So 5 plus 4 is 9. Times that by 9 over here and you get 81. So that's how I got that. But if I do 4 times 9, first I get 36 and then add that onto the 5. I get 41. I can't decide which one's right because if I go from left to right, I get 81. That seems like a logical thing to do. But then, why do I have to just always go from left to right? Maybe there's another reason for me to do this first and then add the 5 and get 41. Hmm. Well, this isn't the first time this kind of problem has been thought about. In fact, when they were inventing maths around the campfire a long, long time ago, they came across similar kinds of problems and they decided, right, to stop us arguing about which answer is right, we're going to need to have an order that we do our calculations in. And this is what they came up with. Sat around the campfire, they decided that we would follow the order of bid mass. And so it has been and so it shall be forevermore. B stands for brackets. And it is the most important part of any calculation. If you see brackets, they have to be worked out first. I stand for indices. Indices, what on earth are they? They are things like 3 to the power of 5 or 10 to the power of 7 or 8 squared or 6 cubed. Any of these, these are all indices or each one of them is an index number. Um, they need to be done second. They're the second most important thing. Also within indices you've got all the square roots and the cube roots. So um, let's say the, the square root of 25 or square root of 36 or mm, the maybe the cube root of 8, cube root of 27, those kind of things. They're all part of indices. D stands for division. M stands for multiplication. A stands for addition. And no prizes for guessing this one. S stands for subtraction. Okay, now it's a fairly easy to remember acronym. It spells out bid mass. Like I said, sometimes you might hear it as bod mass. Sometimes you might hear it as ped mass. Depends who you're talking to. But the good news is the order is still the same. B for brackets. I for indices. O for order. E for exponents. All the same thing. All means that that business there to the power of index numbers, to the order of, etc. E stands for exponents, by the way, it means the same thing. And then you've still got the division, the multiplication, the addition, or subtraction. Um, so it's all good. Everything's in order. So no one's going to argue wherever you are in the world about the order of operations, but we better understand exactly how to apply them. So I've got a few examples. I'm going to start with this one. 25 plus 3 times 6 take away 5. Okay, now before I ever knew about bid mass, I would probably have gone from left to right. I'd have done 25 plus 3 times the answer by 6 and then take away 5 from that answer and get my grand final answer. But then came along these cavemen with the order of operations to save the day to avoid getting into any arguments with people who might do it in a different order. So if they said that brackets is the most important, then I would have to do that. There aren't any brackets in this one. There are no indices. In fact, there's no division. Multiplication is the first one that we have to sort out. That there is 18. So 25 plus 18 take away 5. Right, now what are we left with? We're left with an addition and a subtraction. So uh, addition is the next most important. 25 plus 18 is 43. That bit is 43. And then we have 
5 to take away. So we have a little subtraction there. And 43 take away 5 is 38. Okay, so we followed the order of operations there. And 38 is the one and true and only answer to this calculation in the eyes of all mathematicians, all people who have ever tried to do calculations, including Cato. Okay, I'm going to do a similar calculation. It involves 25 plus 3 times 6, take away 5 again. But this time, 25 and 3 go inside brackets. So, brackets was the most important, we said. 25 plus 3 is 28. We still need to times it by 6 and then take away 5. So multiplication comes next, not just because we're working from left to right, but because it's more important than the subtraction. Okay, 28 times 6. 20 times 6 is 120. 8 times 6 is 48. And the two together make it 166. Okay, we still need to take away 5. But look, there's our subtraction. 168 take away 5 gives you 163. Brilliant. We're on to our third example already. 25 plus 3 times 6. Take away 5. So let's square the 3 this time. So we have an index number now. We will need to work that out first. Because it is more important than the addition, the time, or the subtraction. So 3 squared, that is 9. 25 plus 9 times 6. 5. Okay, what have we got now? We've got a multiplication there in the middle. It's the most important out of what's left. And that equals 54. So 25 plus 54 take away 5. What have we got? We've got an addition. So 25 plus 54 is 79. That bit there. And we still have to take away 5. Poor subtraction last again you get 74 okay we are now cracking on to our fourth example which looks a bit like this 25 plus 3 times 6 take away 5 this time we're going to square the 3 and put that in brackets okay brackets first then hooray mm. 25 plus 3 squared. Uh-oh. Well, what do I do? Because there's kind of two things going on inside the brackets. There's the addition and there's this index number. Not to worry. We use bid maths, of course, and do the index number first. So for 3 squared, that's 9. And then 3 times 9 gives 9. Keep that in the brackets for now. Times 6, take away 5. Okay, baby steps. 25 plus 9, that is in the brackets. How do I get to do that now? Hooray! 25 plus 9 is 34. Still need to times it by 6. Take it away 5. Right, we have a multiplication. 34 times 6, 3, which is really 30. 30 times 6 is 180. 4 times 6 is 24. Add the two together and you get 204. So that's that bit worked out. Take away 5. And what have we got? We have got a subtraction to do. And that comes to 199. Wow. Well, as you can see, Bidmas has clearly saved any argument from happening. Because otherwise, if I'd just gone from left to right, goodness knows what would have happened. I would have done 25 plus 3, square that answer then times it by 6 and then take away 5 and that would have not got me 199 and who would have been right? well without bid mass I'd have been wrong ok but it got me thinking does it matter if we do multiplication or division first let's say we had a problem like this 4 divided by 2 times by 12 well we've just got division and multiplication ok because if they're you know, you hear people talking about them as inverse operations. If they're equally opposite to each other, then, you know, why do we have to treat division as more important than multiplication? Hmm? I don't know. Let's find out. If it makes a difference, if we get two different answers, then it's probably...
probably a big deal as to which order we do it in. But if we get the same answer, it doesn't matter which order we do it then, in which case they're probably kind of equal. Okay, we'll find out. 4 divided by 2, first of all, is 2. Times that by 12, and we get 24. Okay, well this time let's try doing the multiplication first. Um, so you get 24. Then we'd have to do 4 divided by 24. The answer is not 6. The answer is 1 6. 4 divided by 24 is going to give you a, a fraction uh, less than 1. Okay, right, we've got two different answers. That suggests to me that yes, it does matter if you do division or multiplication first. So we're going to need a rule for that because we can't just keep having a situation where we can get two different answers from what looks like the same calculation. Hmm. Well, let me think about that rule while we're looking at this question here. If we've just got a problem where there's only addition or subtraction, does it matter which order we do it in? It's just like the one above, but we've just got these inverse operations, addition and subtraction now that I'm talking about. Okay, so we could do the subtraction first followed by the addition, or we could try doing the addition first and then doing the subtraction. All right, well, let's see if we get two different answers. 9 take away 8 is 1. Add 25, 36. Okay, or we could do the addition first and get 33, and then do 9 take away 33, which you can do. It's going to give us a number below 0, but that's absolutely fine. And it would give us negative 24. Hmm. So we've got two different answers. That means it completely mattered which way around we did it. So yes, it does matter which way around we do it. Hmm. I'm a little bit confused because I thought the caveman said you had to do B, I, D, M, A, S and always do division before multiplication and always do addition before subtraction. Well, what do we do? That's kind of complicated because we had a situation here where we did subtraction first and then added 25 to get one answer. But doing the addition first got us a different answer. So what do we do? Well, I'm going to have to call this one. This is, this is my decision that we're going to have to go with. Okay, here's what I want you to do. If you've just got a division and a multiplication calculation. What I'm going to say is work through the problem from left to right. Okay? Work through the problem from left to right. If you come across division first, do it first. But if you come across the multiplication first, do the multiplication first. So in that case, my decision is made. This is the correct answer because we have worked from left to right. I'm going to make a decision on the next one as well, you know. I'm going to say that if you've got a problem where there's just addition and subtraction, then I want you to work from left to right on that as well. Okay, let's have a look what I mean. We've got 26 with this one. We've got negative 24 with that one. I'm calling it this one. When we work from left to right is going to be the correct answer. Okay, that's a significant moment because it doesn't just become bid mass anymore. Now we could get pretty funky orders. We could potentially have a situation where it's BIM DAS. We could even get a situation where it's bid BIM DASA or bid MASA or bid mass. So, brackets most important, indices the next most important, division and multiplication, both sort of equal, and if you're in a situation where you've just got a division multiplication problem, please work from left to right, that's my decision. And if you've got a problem where it's just addition and subtraction, go for the left to right rule.
Okay, that will be more important than trying to do subtraction after addition. Go with left to right. Okay. By the way, I didn't just make that up. Uh, that's official. There's the official order. Okay, so B, I, D and M on the same level, A and S on the same level. Okay, and now I'd like to leave you with a problem. 10 times 2, take away brackets. 36 divided by 3 squared, close brackets. Okay, this question I'm going to leave you with. I suggest you pause the video so that you can reach for your pencil and paper and work out the answer. Okay, right, work it out now. Thanks very much for watching. See you soon.